Hey, what's up, family? Um, I'm putting this video out because it, it's something that caught my attention while I was making another video. And so this is kind of like a fa uh, a, 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 um, it kind of is getting preparing you for the other video that's to come. Um, but I want to put it out there before they shut down the internet. And I know there are people out there who are doing great work. And I, I just want to contribute to that. But um, do planets exist? Because now, before you go off and, you know, start calling me a lunatic, just hear what I got to say. Because <laughs> something ain't adding up. All right. So here we have planet X, which is Pluto, right? Now, you know they just suddenly said Pluto is no longer a planet, right? And so, I personally know I personally don't think Pluto ever existed. Now, that's just my personal opinion. Um, that's my perspective. Uh, you guys may come to a different one, but I personally don't think it ever existed. And when they could no longer hold up the lie anymore, then they said, "Well, you know what? It doesn't exist." Anyway, I'm gonna do a whole video on that just alone because. It's a lot to talk about, and I really don't have time because I'm trying to get to something else. But this is something else I'm going to be talking about. Uh, all of these Mars missions, right? They're supposed to have a man on Mars soon, you know, back in the 1960s. They didn't even go to the moon. So how can they plan on going to Mars? And then in 19, they said, 1970s, we'll have a man on Mars. Never happened. 1980s, never happened. 1990s never happened. Okay, uh, going all the way down into 2000s, a man on Mars, right? <laughs> it never happened, right? And they keep pushing the the fucking date back, you know. So every time, you know, they they pump it, they hype us up with these dreams, and then they pull away and say, okay, another 25 years, keep sending us some money. Right. So anyways, I'm going to talk about that in a separate video, but I want to talk about Saturn because, well, this is really about planets, but there's something not right about Saturn. OK, now this is from NASA.gov. And as we look here, we can see this planet has its rings going around. And we see a shadow being casted on the rings. Now, it is interesting how in a lot of these photos, the sun is, and now this is by NASA.gov, the sun is on your right-hand side, but somehow you can still see the dark side of Saturn. Go figure, right? And so here's the the shadow that's on the, um, and it, it appears that we're looking from a bottom side of Saturn. And so here's a, a dark side of it, and there's a shadow being casted on Saturn. Okay, that's great. No problem there. But now we're starting to run into problems because not all of the pictures are consistent. So this is NASA.gov. Here again, you have the shadow on the top side of the uh, the uh, the rings, right? But there's no shadow. There will be a shadow. But let's take a more of a look. No shadow. Now, if you say this is a shadow, this this thin line right there, if you're going to claim that to be a shadow you still have run into a problem because the shadow would not be that thin. It would spread much further across the surface of Saturn. Okay, like for instance, it wouldn't be such a, this is NASA.gov now, this wouldn't be such a thin line. And what is this? Okay, now let's go down here. Here's Saturn. I made this up really quick because I just want to give you an idea, okay? I don't want to go through all the bullshit. All right. Do you see this? There's a shadow, a ring going around Mars. No problem there. But if you look right here, there's a shadow being casted from the rings, which should happen. Actually, let's pull this up. You see that? See that thin shadow right there? That's from the rings. Okay? That should happen. Okay? That should happen. But, in fact, let's move the... Let's, let me give you a little bit of an idea. As we move up, right, you're going to have shadow on the bottom. Actually, let's move down. 
right? Hold on, let me move this over, right? Now, never mind the fact that the bottom side of the rings are well lit and the top side is not, okay? The top side's not lit at all. And so if we go back here, if you're going to tell me the rings are... Now, here's an amateur shot. Let me go, go to this right here. This is an amateur shot. Look at this shadow tilting up with the shadow should tilt upward also on Saturn. It should. Okay. It just sh it, th there's something not right about these planets. Now I've been I've seen Saturn with my own two eyes. I've been to an observatory um in Orlando and I went to the top. It was daytime, which is weird because it and I'm gonna get to that in a second, but um like let's look at this right here. And we know these planets are fake, but still, you know, they shouldn't even have to fake planets if, if Saturn is viewable through a telescope. Now, I went to the top of the telescope in Orlando Science Center, and I looked through, and when I looked through, to be quite honest, Saturn did not look real to me. Okay, I'm not saying it wasn't there. I'm saying that it didn't look real. I personally don't believe planets exist the way they tell us that they exist. Okay, I don't believe planets exist. I believe Saturn is no bigger than the size of a car. It's really small. That's how you're able to get these shadows like this. Because if the Saturn was re that much really large, it would be shadows casted across this whole the whole surface of Saturn. Okay? So, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of BS here. A lot of BS. So, like, right here, let's, what is this? What is this? Okay, a picture of the day. <laughs> yeah, um, again, you know, <laughs> oh, man, these guys are funny. But what I'm saying is, I know you can see Saturn through a telescope, but... I don't think it's that big. I think they're. I think the planets that you're looking at are actually little moons, just like the moon we have up there. They're just moons, but this far, far away. That's all they are. They're probably a little bit bigger than stars, but about the same size. But that's all the planet is, in my opinion. Okay, I don't think the planets exist the way they're telling us. And um, now here's a uh, Saturn, right? And this is Cassani, and they somehow picked up sounds, radio missions from Saturn. Let's hear what it what they say. I've seen a lot of sci-fi movies, and I swear I've heard this before. This is NASA.gov, mind you. This is their government website. And it's like some out of a horror movie. They, they really think we're fucking stupid. I, I'm telling you. Okay, and now this is Earth, right? You cannot see planets anytime you want. Pe stupid people think they could just walk into an observatory and look through a telescope and see these planets. You cannot. And here is something called opposition, right, of planets. When the planets are on the same side as the sun, or the sun, they're, they're relatively close to the sun, you can't see it because the sunlight obscures the planets in the background. Okay. okay? And so that's what's called opposition. Um, if you just look this up, opposition planets, they, they'll explain it to you. Okay. I went through that, read through this whole thing. I'm not going to read it again, but that's basically what it is. Okay. So you cannot just see planets anytime you want. Any You call an observatory, they have to set a date for certain planets. Sometimes it takes six months. So what is what am I saying? I'm saying that oh here's another one, fake image from an uh, observatory, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, okay, Gr NASA's great observatories, right? Bullshit, okay. Google gives one million dollars to historical Lick Observatory, okay. So Google's in on the bullshit. They're they're supporting the round Earth bullshit, okay, and they send millions and billions of dollars over to these guys just to keep them going. Now, let's take a look here. Let's go up. 
space.com, this is complete bullshit, okay? You cannot see a galaxy like this with the naked eye. I don't care where you say you are. You cannot see a galaxy like this with the naked eye. You cannot, okay? <laughs> Period. And the fact that they're shooting lasers into the sky is total bullshit, okay? This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. The observatories are funded by these NASA and all these Google and all these people. These corporations, they are in on the lie, is what I'm trying to tell you. They are in on it. These lay, they don't, they're not shooting late. The lasers are supposed to go up there to create a hole in the atmosphere so they can see the stars better. If you believe that, you're an idiot. There's no way they're fucking doing this shit. Okay. I'm sorry to tell you that. Bullshit. This is supposed to be a real photo. Why are they even photoshopping this? If they really have the technology, they don't have to photoshop anything. It should be just take a snapshot. Why Photoshop bullshit? And it's always the Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> oh, man. God. I... Yeah. Yeah. They really, they really got us by the fucking balls. This is funny. I mean, yeah, right. Oh, my God. I, you know what? Let me click this. Let me click this. Because I... It's, it's bullshit is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, doesn't work well in polluted air, blah, 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 blah. Uh, come on, don't give me no bullshit. All right, fucking advertisements. So, I mean, the laser system took the majority of the $175 million cash pot that NASA wanted to invest in three promising technologies okay so there goes 175 million dollars down the drain oh boy again if we lived where's my little uh thing here if this thing was you would see shadows casted all over this thing from where's my thing here where's my thing as we saw in the experiment earlier the shadows would be insane on this uh on this, hold on, it's lagging a little bit. All right, there we go. The shadows would be insane. You wouldn't have the shadows like, hold on, let me go back here. Let me move the sun over a little. Let's see. Okay. All right. This thing was giving me prop. There we go. The shadows cast it again. There you go. It's from the rings, okay? You would have that. You would have this shadow cast it from the rings. I'm sorry. It ju you just would. So, I mean, something ain't right. That's all I'm saying, guys. I'm not saying that I know what the truth is. I'm just saying something ain't right. Okay? Something's not right. Okay? And I can tell you this right here. Damn sure ain't right. This is bullshit. I mean, oh, please, could you imagine seeing stars like this? Every photographer would be outside, right around this area. And they, look, they're shooting lasers again, green lasers. Why are they photoshopping this? Why are they lying? Oh, you're going to tell me they're not lying. This is all real. So you're telling me if I walked out to Nevada, wherever these places are, and I can see a laser being beamed up to the the, the ga uh, Milky Way galaxy. <sighs> All right, I'm done. My next video, I'm gonna be taking a different approach. Uh, don't want to bore you guys. I'm still done. I got this other program I'm downloading. It's gonna be much better on lighting. It's gonna give me all the bells and whistles that I want. And I got my hands on it, so it's all about, it's a five-hour download, so it's a pain in the ass. But um, once I get it, it'll be flowing really well. Uh, so, yeah, you know, keep up the good work, guys, you guys out there. And uh, thank, I want to give a shout-out to all my uh, subscribers. Uh, I see you out there. I'm going to run down the name of the list of guys out there that, are, that, I, that I just really connect with, all right? All right, have a good one, guys. Peace.